Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. Uh, have y'all been hearing the controversy that's been going on on YouTube right now? Sheesh. Gotta take up a drone today, y'all. Zashin, Zashin, uh, Milton Phil's been going at it about what's rice and what's not rice. Uh, Y'all know how to put my opinion on this. Y'all know I had to. Check out. Ooh. New pipes though. Did you know I put the stocks back on because my fours was rubbing? I'll talk about this whole controversy of what is rice and what I think about it and how I feel about what both of them said. This video is going to cause a lot of controversy and hate, but then again, I could care less. Let's back up a little bit and find out what the definition of a ricer is. A person who makes unnecessary mods to their car, mostly imports, yes, to make it look faster. That's kind of what most people associate a ricer with. We're in a different era now, it's 2017. Not everybody does that kind of stuff anymore. They kind of moved on to something else. And if you didn't realize, that something else was the whole stance scene. So the way I look at stance is, it's basically a pointless modification to do to your car. Lower your car on lowering springs, tilt your wheels all the way out. On stretch tires, you have these big giant XXR wheels or chrome XXR wheels on your car. And boom, car done, right? That's it? Yeah, sounds about right. If you agree, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't agree, give this video a thumbs down so I can know all the people out there who like the stance scene. Percy, I'm guessing you're disliking one of my videos. Damn, dog, I think you're talking to you. Wrong! I did not dislike your video, okay, buddy? But I would have to disagree on that video as a whole. Don't you ever in your life come for me, you know what I'm saying? I wear a small shirt so I can look big, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> He said them final words. He said he wore small t-shirts. You feel me? Really making the biggest shit, you know what I'm saying? You gonna take that? I realize now that my video is a little too broad and a lot of you guys kind of missed the whole point I was trying to convey. Hey bro, I think he's, I think he's scared, man. He all trying to apologize now. But basically, I was trying to say... You meant what? Excessive camber and the whole stance, the crazy stance that you see on cars is just silly. <laughs> you getting scared now, huh? Honey <laughs> K got you scared, huh? I got the squad behind you. He got the squad behind you. Zosh Nation coming for your ass in the comments, huh? Damn. Hold up, Mr. Middleton. Your car has Falcon Zennies and Rota Grid Wheel. Yeah, you only track your car once. Wouldn't that be right? Race inspired cosmetic product. You have actual race prepped tires. You have, you know, a race wheel, you could say in a way, but you don't track your car. Hmm, you only did it once. I'm not saying that you're a ricer, but basically, how could a ricer who senses their car be rice if all they're doing is sensing their car? It's just for looks. How is that rice? I don't understand that it's rice because are you, you're not, it's not a race inspired cosmetic whatever the right stands for it's none of that shit you just stands in your car and that's it hey, what's going on you guys you already know who it is with another one a lot of people wouldn't mind take on this subject i'm gonna give y'all you know how to bring the tag out for this one surprise she turned on but yeah so beautiful scenery a lot of people i don't want me to respond to this pretty much what i feel about what they said and I'll probably go in the car for this one because I don't want all the wing to catch. So it was said that uh, my, my ton films pretty much said at first he was saying that having camber is pretty much new rice. And I totally disagree with that because the only thing that I knew was rice from the get go was Spoilers that didn't belong in your car from the get-go. Like, I have the Type R spoiler. You know what I'm saying? But I mean like, big old wings. So some people even said this is rice. I don't know how when it comes in the car. How is that rice? I don't understand. But I'll give you guys a whole lot of examples of what's rice in my car. So, 
but I think even if you have excessive camber like this like stupid camber I don't think that's right but it's just more of somebody's style what I like it can, it's gonna be different than what somebody else likes that's what makes us that's what makes us all unique what I like is different than what somebody else likes so you know that's pretty much what I have to say about that and I mean like putting like what Zaj said I'm trying to think what he was saying like he said he has a window net but it's just like I don't see how the window net is rice it's just a window net I don't really see how a lot of stuff that people say is rice is actually rice you feel more make sure ricer because the word ricer nowadays honestly it gets thrown around more than once in the stripper club like seriously like it's ridiculous like anything you do to your car people are gonna say it's rice like like how my Milton, uh my ton film said for example in 2004 it was like people that had sound systems in their car and shit like that what the what does that have to do with making you a ricer i don't understand how that ever makes you a ricer i don't understand the concept of that a sound system it's not even race inspired it's just a system in your car to have better audio you know what i'm saying it's like I don't understand that that example at all having a system in your car subs makes you a ricer how it doesn't make you go faster if anything is more weight in your car it's just to have nice music nobody wants to listen to crappy ass speakers but not to you know take shots but we're talking about somebody who's actually building a stock engine I appreciate this build I like his channel this is no shots fired but we have to realize what type of person is actually saying this stuff about the topic we're talking about somebody who is building a stock engine who really doesn't want to do any other kind of you know like he wants to stay as OEM as possible which I respect because now aftermarket isn't for everybody but he wants to stay as OEM as possible so from somebody giving an example or somebody trying to say what rice is coming from a person that wants to be as OEM as possible is the wrong person to be talking to about it. Like, they're going to say everything is rice. They're going to disagree with everything. And then when you start talking about camera, I'm going to assume that a lot of people are bashing you in the comments because a lot of people have camera these days. And then you want to, like, take it back. Like, no, it's too late. You already put it out there. Now you're trying to, like, apologize for what you said in a way. I mean, you probably still don't care. If people are mad, they're mad. Like, I wouldn't give a fuck either. But it's just like you're trying to take it back now. It's just like, no, you said it. Like, you feel like that's rice. Don't let people coming at you in the comments change that. You know, change your uh, your perspective of what you think rice is. Like, if that's what you think. That's what you think. And I respect your opinion, 100. percent I need to get off. There's some motorcycles behind me. I feel like they're gonna do some shit. No, they're just getting off their bikes. God damn it. Anyway, back to hot fail. So. Pretty much, I think like, you try to take it back after you said it. So, like I said, respect your opinion, but to me, that's not rice. Rice is what rice has always been. And I don't know how it's been that way because people were inspired by the cars on the Fast and Furious and technically those are like the most rice style cars that you can see, you feel me? But everybody was into that. And then the car, cr the car culture grew and it changed just like how music changed the car culture changed and now everybody looks back on it like the new newer generation and they're like oh well that's rice now da, 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 da. but it's like people feel the same way about music if you hear a little uzi and all your and a little yadi and all some stuff the younger the younger generation loves that music that's why they're so successful but the newer generation are looking at it like what the hell is that that's not music that's not rap that's not hip-hop you feel me so it's just like it's the same thing with the car culture i feel and like I said, uh, it's just a lot, <laughs> a lot of misconception about what actually rice is. There's actually no such thing as rice. It's just rice is just a term. I feel rice is just a term that people use when they say they don't like something in your car. Your car is rice because of that. They're basically saying I don't like your car because of that. They're not saying it's rice. They're saying I don't like your car and give an excuse of why it's rice quote unquote you feel me so it's like instead of just being a man like i don't like your car because you have this neochrome steering wheel and neochrome is gay i don't know how neochrome makes you has anything to do with sexuality but apparently neochrome is gay because i remember when i first got all this neochrome oh it was gay 
do all this other crap. You feel me? So, for now, people, instead of them saying, Oh, I don't like your steering wheel because it's Neo Chrome and Neo Chrome isn't my style, that's why I don't like your steering wheel. They're gonna say now, This is rice. I don't know how this steering wheel is rice at all. Is it that if it was a different color, it wouldn't be rice? But since it, it's, since it's Neo Chrome, it's rice. It has nothing to do with making me go faster, it has nothing to do with upgrading my performance. It's just for looks. It just looks nice. That's why I buy a lot of this stuff. It has no extra function. This goes up and down. This Neo Chrome is doing nothing extra. This is a shifter. It's not doing anything extra. This is a steering wheel. I used to have the pedals down there too. But I took those out because those kept falling off. So yeah, that's what happened with that. Um I said I got hood spacers, I got a whole bunch of shit. I'm gonna show you guys. Hold up. Okay, here we go. So Neo Chrome head bolts. Does nothing for performance, but it's rice. Radiator right Neo Pro mounts. Doesn't do a performance, it just does the job, but it's rice. Fender washers, rice. Valve cover, I mean spark plug cover, Neo Pro, rice. 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 I'm surprised they didn't say this is rice. I guess they can because it's type R. Or it's type R rice nowadays because they showed it said that by my wing. Now let's go ahead and go to the front. The front end. JDM front, straight from Japan. I guess that's rice because you know it's fucking from Jap from Japan and shit. So it has to be rice, right? What about this? Oh, it's a type R chassis. I guess that's rice. I'm gonna show you some other things that. I'm gonna show you some other things that don't have any additional functions, but apparently they're gonna be right. So we have Neo Chrome spikes. They don't make me go fast or anything. They're just there to hold my lug nuts. All for looks, cause it just looks nice, right? If you're into this type of thing, it's just, you know, I like that style, but it's rice. I didn't want the regular valve plug. So I got a Neo Chrome one. I got a spike one to match this, but well, that's rice. Don't worry about these wheels. These are 195 by 50 uh, R16. These are 16 by 9s, you guys. This tire is too big, but we're gonna fix that. Eventually, we're gonna fix that. So don't worry about that. Uh, subframe, low tie bar, lower control arms. And people said this is rice because mainly the color. They didn't say anything about functionality. I guess my coilovers, those are true heart. Those must be rice. My exhaust damn sure is rice, isn't it? Honda sign, rice. Goes to the inside. Don't mind my drone. But my seats are rice. I guess because I don't race, but I just like look. Bars, rice. So yeah. Oh, then my uh, seatbelt harness, my little eBay seatbelt harness, which I need to get new. That gotta be rice too, right? So I do these things to make my car look nice. I don't race my car right now because there's no track right here. But you guys know I'm building a B20, a turbo B20 V10. The box over here. Oh, he did a wheelie. Oh, he about doing wheelies over there. Woo! A lot of stuff in my car will be considered rice. But a lot of people ask me, do I race? No, I don't race. Why don't I race? I don't race to lose. Never to sound cocky or anything like that. I'm not gonna race you if I feel like I'm gonna lose. That It makes no sense for me to race. If I'm gonna lose, well, I'm gonna race you. It's like the stupidest thing ever. Oh yeah, this gotta be rice too, right? If you pressure gauge, let me know how much fuel I'm getting. Cause my car acts up a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just gotta check engine light after I did that rev.
But I guess my check is like right. Regardless of the fact, we're gonna we're not gonna continue this, this fuckery. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, no matter what you do your car, somebody's gonna feel like it's rice. Like I said, they throw out the word rice like one at a strip club. What more can I say? Uh, do I believe in something's rice? No, I don't believe in the word rice. I don't believe that anything is rice. I believe that people who don't like certain things in your car use the excuse that it's rice to just say that they don't like it for that reason or what they don't like. So that's how I feel. Do what you want with your car. You see, I did. No fucks. As long as I like it, I don't care what nobody else thinks, and that's all that matters. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. This is respond to Milton. Uh, at the end of the day, people ask, so I agree with Zosh, and yes, I do agree with Zosh, what she said. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I don't race, because I don't race to lose. Uh, I'm building my Turbo B20 VTEC, and the other reason I don't race, because I don't really want to race on the street. You feel me? I'm not really trying to get in trouble that way. I don't want to race in the street. I have a career, so if I get in trouble, that's going to, you know, kind of mess me over. So I really don't want to ra be racing in the street and jeopardize my career for a street race. Stupid, right? Second of all, I don't race because there's no track out here in Hawaii. I'm on the island of Oahu. There is no track out here. They closed it down a few years ago, like before I ever got here. So they shut it down because regulations and all this other crap nobody wants to deal with. That's why I got shut down. So don't ask me in the comments. That's the reason. That's all I know. So right now, this is my project car. I'm building it to race. Will it be a full out race car one day? Probably not. Will it be built to race? Yes. Why not build for a fully race car? Because I like interior. <laughs> I like my car looking normal. I like having seats. So my car will never be a full race car, but it will be fast. And it will be race worthy. Hey, let me know what you guys think about this video. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I want to hear what everybody has to say about this. Uh, that's my feedback on this video. You oh, one thing I forgot. This is like end of the video type of thing. I forgot to open the trunk for y'all. Alright, so. Last thing I just want to say. That. My subs are rice. 212 inch kicker CBR, and these bitches hit hard as fuck. The big ass amp and a skateboard. Hella rice. I forgot to add this in the video. It's like the next day, so that's why y'all didn't get this video last night. But yeah, I forgot to add that in there. So you know, somebody added said that big sound systems are rice in your car. But yeah. I think I spoke about it, but I didn't show it, but that's all it is. Give y'all a little quickie. Uh, don't forget to follow. And I forgot to do outro. So, until next time, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Salute.